Hello everyone, it is Agony333, and it's time for some more Just Ignore Them. So yeah, last time we figured out that Bill is a peeping Tom, a sick motherfucking uh, cunt bag piece of trash. We exposed his fucking, uh, yeah, fucked up shit. And we met Bree, who is, funny enough, against all odds, our new companion. But the answer, well, the question, rather, that I have is can we keep her safe? Can we evade these things that we are uh, trying to ignore? Let's find out. Let's commence. So yeah, let me go over here and boop. All right. So yeah, she's out smoking. I believe was on the phone talking or something. And uh, yeah, we're in here. So let's try to bother her. Fuck it. Yeah, I know it's an old fucking balcony. Oh, we can't even fucking bother her. How about we go to bed? Well... I'm sure the bugs and mites will keep me warm. What the fuck? I want to go to bed. I want to sleep. Ah, fuck it. Alright, I guess we have to go outside. What? Wait, what, what? Oh, shit. Bill. He stole my truck battery. That bastard. What does he want from us? Aw, oh, Bill, you motherfucker. I don't know if this is actually Bill, though, guys. I have a feeling that something much worse is uh, afoot than Bill. But let's see. Maybe Bill's going to get fucking uh, completely unhinged now. So is the battery in here? Yeah, I know they're buzzing. And a car battery charger. So maybe that's what's going to come into play. Maybe we have to find our battery and we charge the son of a bitch. They don't need a goddamn thing from here. How about down there? What? I opened that fucking hatch earlier, game. Well, fuck. All right, well, let's go back outside and let's go see if the bitch is in his office. Because that is my idea. Is we need to find that fucking sack of dog shit, Bill. Well, Bill. The fuck is this? Where are you at, Bill? I wonder what's on here. Well, we already tried that earlier. I don't know if it's unlocked. Let's try it. No, no call-out number. One folder, his fucking happy place, password. Yeah, I was actually thinking we were going to get the fucking password for that before, but... Now I don't think so. Let's try to go back to her room. Okay, Bill, you fucking bitch. Where's my battery, motherfucker? Okay. So yeah, I'm kind of like looking around fireplace. It's an old fireplace. I'd probably burn the whole motel down if I started one in there. Aha! But it would make a good distraction. We gotta get him out of there, don't we? That's what we gotta do, guys. We gotta get that fucking sack of uh, fucking garbage out of his fucking place. Let's bring the coal. Put that in the fireplace. This will work nicely as fuel. Now, I just need something to light it with. Too bad I don't smoke. Ah, but, remember our uh, awesome new companion, Bree? She smokes a plenty. So, let's go see if she will be kind enough to let us, uh, yeah, borrow a lighter. So that way we can have an arson, you know, yeah, a party. So, Bree, I better not wake her up. I really wish she wouldn't sleep naked. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god, she... Oh fuck. It's such a distraction. Of course it is. Her lighter may be useful. I hope she doesn't wake up. Otherwise I'll look as bad as I did before. Something tells me she doesn't really mind there, sir. But okay, here's the lighter. Let's go fucking start this shit. Into the fire! Yeah, Dawkins song. Really cool song, though. But alright, let's fucking do this. Let's bring this place into the flames. I can use this to light the coal. You like the sight you see, motherfucker? What's that smell? That boy better not have started up that fireplace. He'll burn the whole motel down. Along with my fucking fucked up ring of... Yeah, bullshit. Whatever, Bill, you bitch. There. That should draw him out of hiding. Fucking coward. 
All right, so he's out of hiding now, so we can go in there and meet with this bitch boy. Fucking loser Bill. See, I thought it was actually the apparitions that were uh, doing this crap, but obviously I was mistaken. Bill is a fucking cunt. God damn it. I accidentally clicked on the fucking awning instead of the goddamn door. Hey, Bill, you fucking pansy. Wait, what? I thought he was out there. Where you at, Bill? Quit trying to be elusive and shit. Don't be clever. Just fucking face me already. You fucking coward. So he's out of hiding. We can't go back in. What the fuck? God damn it. What's that mean? I need to fix the truck first. How do I fix the fucking truck if I can't do anything with it? Come on, game. Show me the way here. Yeah, like the Alien Vampires song, Show Me the Way. Alien Vampires is badass. Alright. So. I don't understand this one fucking bit. I can't do anything with it. I'll need to pry it the fuck open. I already tried that shit. Fucking Bill has it locked up. God damn it, Bill, you fucking... Okay, yeah, I'm all sorts of confused at this point. Because we lit the fire. But what in the ever-living motherfuck do we do now? Can I fucking... Okay, I can't wash my hands. Unfucking fortunately, I can't wash my hands of this disgusting fucking putrid place. So we're gonna go back to... Okay, yeah, duh, I forgot. I have to fix the truck first. God damn it. What the hell is with this? You know what I mean, guys? What the hell's with this? Shouldn't peep. So what the fuck? I don't understand this one goddamn bit. We brought the fucking, um... Human being, if we want to call him that, out of his fucking hiding spot. But the fucking coward can't even face us. We still got the lighter. So maybe we can do something else with the lighter? I'm wondering. I am wondering. I am wondering. What the fuck? What the fuck? Washing machine. Okay. It looks like something's in there. I can't get the door open. The latch is stuck. Okay, so maybe we use the screwdriver to bust open the latch or something? This should do it. Hey, my truck battery. He threw it in the fucking washer. Well, I guess he's trying to be nice, trying to clean it off for us. Nice hiding place, Bill. Huh? Great, it's dead. I need to charge it somehow. Well, I know just how to do that shit. Car battery in the fucking charger that we, uh... Yeah, how convenient. Yes, we made it convenient very well. It should be just enough charge to start the truck. Something tells me we need to get the fuck out of Dodge before he tries to sabotage us further. So we're gonna fix this fucking truck. And then after that, we're gonna grab our, uh, yeah, new gal, our new friend. As soon as the truck's fixed, we're out of here. Don't blame ya. I better go wake up Bree so we can get the hell out of here. Let's go wake up our, uh, yeah, companion. We can kick Bill in the balls on the way out. The truck needs to be fixed. Bree? Are you okay? I just watched the tape you gave me. Uh oh, I, I didn't expect you to watch. Mark, is my ass really that big? <laughs> oh my god, that's the question she has. She's pissed. Look at her fucking face there. <sighs> that's priceless. Well, I'm not going to just look at it. I, I respect women. <laughs> oh my god. What are you, made of stone? Just look at it. Oh my, what the fuck is going on? Bree, we have to go now. It's not safe here. Bill's a fucking maniac. Wait, what is that? Uh, were you standing behind me in the shower? 
Oh, the monster. Wait, that's not me, I swear. Then who is it? That creepy manager? It almost touched me. Look, there's no time to explain. Why? We need to go now. Okay, fine. I'll pack my things. But you better explain that later, Mark. Yeah, you better explain it, Mark. Hello? Room service for the lovely couple. Oh, shit. Oh, no, it's Bill. Uh-oh. Come on out. There's bacon and eggs with some fresh squeezed OJ. I don't trust you, Bill, you fucking cunt. Yeah, cunt or something like that. Bree, pack your things and wait for my signal. When I call you, just head for the truck and do not stop for anything. Okay? Alright, Bill, you fucking creep. You've seen too much, Mark. But don't you worry. I'll be taking extra good care of you. And that pretty girl you got there, too. We're leaving, Bill. And you are not gonna stop us. See, now? That's what I don't understand. How are you gonna do that? I have this fancy-looking gun. Oh, shit. And guess what? You don't have one. Please, Bill. Just let us go. I don't want to do this. Ha! Do what? Mark, what's going on? Aha, there you are. The pretty little lady. Please, just let us leave. He's he's coming. Son, you move an inch, I'll shoot her. Uh-oh, the thing's coming, I think. Mark, don't! Wait, wait! Dad, no! What the f... Huh? Dad... Oh, shit. What the hell is that? Oh, it just fucking gobbled you up. That's what it did. <laughs> Mark, what the hell is that? Come on, we have to leave now. Well, I am all sorts of like, what the fuck? I didn't expect this to happen. It was like some sort of bad accident. So we just learned a revelation, guys. Apparently... I'm not sure if that was Bob, but one of those things is basically his fucking dad, possibly. That's crazy. That's very intriguing. Weird. Let's. I'm curious to see where this goes. So yeah, it was like some sort of bad accident. And now I have someone running with me. What do I do? I can't keep her with me. See, that's the problem, guys, because if you remember when we told uh, Mary about the incident, she was basically killed from it. So now what the fuck do we do? Do we just keep her with us running? I mean, if we try to, like, disband from her, I would imagine they come after her, too, since she knows too much now. So, yeah, I can't keep her with me. Can I? Okay, Mark, start explaining. What's there to explain? You know what I mean. What the hell was that thing? And why did you call it Dad? Oh, that. That's nothing, trust me. You have to be kidding me. I just watched a monster eat that creepy guy. Yeah, I don't think that dude would taste very good. I mean, he's pretty disgusting after all, but... Eh, I mean, who am I to judge what the hell the taste buds the creatures have? And you called it Dad? Speak, Mark, or I'll stab you. Way, there's no need to get crazy, Missy. Okay, jeez. You're way more scary than that monster. Mark, don't try me. Okay. Yes. He was my father. What, what do you mean, was? He's no longer my dad, but some hideous creature. I don't know what happened to him, but I'm going to find out. I just can't stop. I can't let him catch me. Well, drive faster, stupid. 
I'm already going at the speed limit. Hey, listen, I'm sorry about freaking out back there. I mean, you would too if, if that was your first time seeing something like that. It's fine, Bree. Gee, I could go for a drink after all that. What do you say? Sure. It's It's been a while since I've had one. Well, now she knows. Let's just hope she doesn't suffer the same fate as the others. So yeah, there's other people in his life who have succumbed, it seems, guys. I knew that. I mean, I, I figured that anyways after what happened to fucking Mary. Oh, shit. She's digging too deep. Why did you agree to this? You just put her in danger too. Well, if she wants to know, she'll have to meet you again. So yeah, guys, yeah, she's yeah completely in this with us now. Which I kind of expected, but yeah, we're at the bar getting fucking trashed. Let's do this shit. So, where are we heading next? Huh? Oh, no, you, you said you wanted a lift to the next city. Well, the truth is, I, I have nowhere to g else to go. So that explains how you ended up in the middle of nowhere? Well, yes and no. Oh? My so-called boyfriend left me there. Wow, what an asshole. Yeah, we've already established she's a fucking, uh, yeah, asshole. Here's to you, Jason. You finally got rid of me. That doesn't sound too welcoming. So where are we going? To see an old friend of mine. He said he may have found an explanation for all of this. What's his name? Dan. Is he like a scientist or something? Yeah, kinda. His dad was one. Do you think he can explain what happened to your father? I hope so. Otherwise, I don't know what else to do. Cheer up, Mark. I'm sure you can help him. He can't be helped. I'm sure he wasn't always a monster. He always was. Only now he can really see him for what he is. That bastard. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mark. If it helps, my dad was a bastard too. He never cared about me. All he cared about was his sports and gambling. My dad left us for no reason. Never even a phone call. There must have been a reason for him to leave, Mark. I don't care anymore. I just want him to stop following me. Why? Maybe he just wants to talk to you again. You saw what he did to that guy back there. So now that actually gives me a question, guys. Like, well, not a question, but like a theory. Like... Maybe the whole just ignore them, like you can't ignore your demons, so to speak. Maybe that's the whole thing. Maybe it is trying to communicate with us, like help us. I don't know. I'm really wondering, cause, I mean, why would it have killed our mother then unless she was neglectful or something? I have no idea. I mean, she did lock us out of the bathroom. We had to wee-wee. I mean, fuck. What the hell else? But yeah, I'm, anyways, jokes aside. Yeah, he fucking killed the uh, scumbag back there. And he wasn't the first person to die either. But yeah, that doesn't explain Mary either. So yeah, I'm an idiot. Sorry, guys. You weren't kidding when you said trouble follows you everywhere. You know, I've seen some pretty weird things before, too. I bet you've never seen anything like that before. Well, not exactly. When I was a kid, me and my friends used to love exploring. We love solving mysteries. My hometown was riddled with them. I remember Jason and I found this old abandoned church once. So Jason was from her childhood then, like an old boyfriend. There was the weirdest 
ghost thing you ever saw in there. It had the longest arms. Huh. I don't believe in ghosts. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Yeah, I guess the ghostly shit's making me cough. I don't know. Yeah, heh, he, I don't believe in fucking ghosts. What do you call the things following you, Mark? And yet you believe in monsters? Touché. I'll pay for the drinks. Well, how nice of you, ma'am. Are you sure? I don't mind paying. It's fine. It saves you an excuse to try and hit on me. Shh. And what makes you think I want to? I can tell. You keep staring at me every now and then. If you say so. Shh. Oh my gosh. So, I'm wondering where we're going. Okay. We made it to the airport. I forgot we needed a plane ride, so... They're still following me. But Bree... Why are you still following me? What's so interesting about me? Maybe this was a mistake. I just hope nothing happens to her. I hope so too! I don't want people dying. Comfortable, Mark? So we're already on the plane, it seems. Huh? Oh, yes, very. How did you manage to get business class? Are you kidding? I'm a girl, that's how. Shh. Well, thanks to Bill's cousin, I guess. Any friend of Bill's. He was such a pushover. So, tell me more about your dad. Why? <clears throat> because I'm interested, duh. What do you want to know? <clears throat> what was he like when you were a kid? There's not much to tell. Why? There wasn't much to remember. My mom always said he was married to his work. Wonder what his work was, huh? He never had any time for her or for me. What did he do for work? He was a scientist. Ah, there we go. More background. A scientist? Was it the T-Virus? Anyways, yeah. Yeah, have you ever heard of the LADP? I'm not sure. What does LADP mean? It's the Life After Death Project. <clears throat> okay, so what the fuck? So that must explain it, this project of his. Obviously, uh, spired uh, out of fucking control. So yeah, it's the Life After Death Project. Oh, I heard about that on the news a while ago. 20 years ago, to be exact. He was involved with it. He was always at the lab. But my mom would always set out dinner for him. We watched his food go cold every night. What is the Life After Death Project? I don't know. That's why I'm going to see Dan. His dad and mine worked on the same project. Ah, how much you want to bet, guys? These three monsters are three different people in the project. One of them is the father. The other may be Dan's father. And, you know, yeah, who knows what else. Yeah, his dad and mine, we worked on the same fucking project. We all turned into fucking freaks. I'm just hoping that he knows something. Do you really know this Dan guy? No, but surprisingly, he knows a lot about me. Fishy, fishy, Mark. Fishy, fishy. I called him a while ago. He said my dad always spoke highly of me. But I don't know how. He barely knew me. It's not your fault, Mark. It was my fault. I must have been such a disappointment as a kid. Sorry, Mark. I shouldn't have asked so many questions. Reassure him, Bree. Come on, what the fuck? It's alright, Bree. 
It was good to get it off my chest. So what about you? What was your childhood like? Probably not very good. I'd love to tell you, Mark, but I really need to pee. How convenient, Bree. Huh? Oh. Do you want me to come with you? Uh, you know, in case something happens? I'll be fine, Mark. Yeah, she is totally like, yeah, whatever, dude. Like, get off my leg. Just wait right here. I'll be back soon. So, what does this, uh, yeah. Wait, what? We're playing as, yeah, Bree now, guys. That is very, very unexpected. Indeed. Very unexpected indeed, but let's try to inspect some things while we're here. Passenger. I don't want to go around introducing myself to everyone. Yeah, fuck that shit. Fuck these guys. That guy in the black clothes looks so shifty. Wait, what guy in the black clothes? Oh, this guy? Shifty guy. I can't do anything with it. Yeah, I was trying to introduce myself. Let's inspect the, uh, the shifty, uh, bitch over here. I see nothing special about it. You just said he was special, that he stood out, that he was shifty. That he's probably gonna hold up the fucking plane and cause everyone to go crazy. And now you're saying there's nothing special about it, Bree. Come on. Shifty guy, let's interact with this fucking chode. I can't do anything with the shifty guy. How about we smack him with our purse? I mean, do something, shit. Alright, well. Plane front... What else do we have to inspect? A fire extinguisher we can bash his face in with, maybe? Plain economy. Pilot com box. Something tells me something bad's gonna happen, guys. Check out the plane front. I see nothing special about it. I'd say it's pretty special. I mean, that's where the, you know, the, the pilots are probably getting on with the, the uh, stewardesses and all that shit. I really could use a smoke first. I think the restrooms are at the other end of the plane. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Okay. So, emergency phone. Let's look at this fucking emergency phone. It's an emergency phone. Okay, that's all there is to fucking say. A bunch of lockers. Check these fuckers. I can't do anything with it. Great. Nothing useful. Awesome. Electronic lock and a ladder. That is very fucking weird. That must be the electronic lock for the overhead storage. It's a sign. For flight staff only. Can only be unlocked via the plane cockpit. So do we go up here to see that shit? I don't know. Let's see if we can go... Oh, we gotta go this way now. I could really use a smoke first. Okay. I think the other... Yeah, the restrooms are at the other end of the plane. Wait, what? Okay, so yeah. So, we have actually a couple places to go. That's really... Throwing me for... Yeah, an unexpected thing here. I don't know whether fucking to go up here or not, but let's just go up here. Fuck it, guys. The overhead storage above is locked. Oh, well, fuck that shit anyways. Oh, wait. Plane cockpit. I can't go in there. Yeah. Let's go for a smoke. Let's go for a fucking smoky smoke. That sounds actually... Oh, we got items on us. I didn't even realize it. So a lighter, duct tape, and cigarettes. Why do we have duct tape? That's fucking weird. I'm gonna tape up this fucking shifty guy. No, not there. I Not, not up there. I want to go to this. Yes, thank you. Oh, so there's one lone asshole here. Strange passenger. He doesn't look too friendly. I better just leave him alone. How about we tape his ass up and throw him in the fucking back? Oh, we can't even interact with this fucking, uh, bitch. So, plane restrooms. Fire extinguisher. Yeah, see, nothing special. Let's go to the restroom. I really need a smoke. No one should catch me in there. Sneaky, sneaky, Bree. But I better cover up that smoke detector first. Okay, so, yeah, we need to go into the restrooms, but we have to, yeah, fucking figure out the damned smoke detector. But, guys, I am sorry. 
but it seems like this is a good place to stop. This is as long as we can afford to this. But yeah, just as the other games, moving along at a really good pace. Like, it's constantly keeping stuff moving, keeping things varied, having a really good story and stuff. I'm really engaged. I love, like, all three of these games from the developer, and I definitely hope another one's coming. But yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this shit. I hope you enjoy the, you know, ever-expanding story and things going on in uh, all these games. But yeah, in this game in particular as well, since, you know, this is the one I'm currently doing. But I hope you guys are enjoying this stuff. If you like horror, like, comment, subscribe for more of that, for more of this, for more that is horror, because I love horror stuff. And yeah, I hope you all have an amazing, fantastic, awesome, badass motherfucking day. This is Agony333 signing out. Have yourselves a fucking fantabulous one, folks. Peace.